the Jamna Ridge Point Gaul, a seacoast town in southern Ceylon. The following day, the Dijem now weighed anchor and resumed a voyage towards Colombo, the capital of Ceylon. For the first time, Rizal sighted the barren coast of Africa, which he called an indisputable land, but famous. At the next stopover in Aden, Rizal went ashore to see sights. He found a city hotter than Manila. From Aden, the Jamna proceeded to the city of Suez, the Red Sea terminal of the Suez Canal. From port, Jamna proceeded on its way to Europe. On the night of June 12, the steamer docked at French harbor of Marseilles. On the afternoon of June 15, Rizal left Marseilles by train. Finally, reaching his destination, Barcelona on June 16, 1882. In Barcelona, Rizal wrote a nationalistic essay entitled Amor Patrio, his first article written on Spain soil. He sent this article to his friend in Manila, Basilio Teodoro Moran, the publisher of Diario Tagalog, the first Manila bilingual newspaper. Rizal's Amor Patrio, under his pen name, Laong Laan appeared in print in Jaryong Tagalog on August 20, 1882. Publisher Basilio Tidoro Moran, deeply impressed by Amor Patrio, congratulated Rizal and requested for more articles. In response to his request, Rizal wrote the second article for Diaryong Tagalog entitled Los Viajes, his third article entitled Revista de Madrid, which he wrote in Madrid on November 29, 1882. On November 3, 1882, Rizal enrolled in the Universidad Central de Madrid. Aside from his heavy studies in the university, he studied painting and sculpture in the Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando. In 1882, shortly after his arrival in Madrid, Rizal joined the Círculo Hispano-Filipino, a society of Spaniards and Filipinos. Upon the request of the members of this society, he wrote a poem entitled Mi Piden Versos, which he personally declaimed during the New Year's Eve reception of the Madrid Filipinos 
held in the evening of December 31, 1882. The Circulo Hispano-Filipino was organized by Filipino students in Madrid and some Spaniards who had previously lived in the Philippines. This organization aims to express difficulties freely experienced by the Filipinos under the leadership of the Spaniards, except for Jose Rizal, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, Juan Luna, and Graciano Lopez Jaina are the organization members. They publish the newspaper Revista del Circulo Hispano-Filipino, expressing thoughts on the Spaniards' evils. It is difficult for students to raise funds, so Circulo Hispano-Filipino and its magazine did not last long. The Circulo Hispano-Filipino also suffered due to the emerging problem of individualism out of place. When Spain allowed the Philippines to engage in international trade, liberal spirits could enter freely from other European countries. These spirits, the Spanish uprising in 1868, the Suez Canal opening in 1869, the assassination of Gomez, Burgos, and Zamora were among those that aroused the patriotic feelings of the Filipinos.